This is Bobby C. reporting from Cooperstown, where America's greatest pastime has opened its doors to welcome three new legends. Roberto Alomar, Burt Blylevin, and Pat Gillick took their rightful place among the all-time greats Sunday as the trio gained entrance into baseball's most exclusive fraternity. Alomar, a slick fielding and hitting second baseman who was the centerpiece of two championship teams in Toronto in 1992 and 93, became only the third Puerto Rican player to be enshrined in the National Baseball Hall of Fame. He thanked his homeland in Spanish and English while also taking a moment to recognize the fans in Canada where his legend is arguably the greatest second baseman to play the game, grew. And I want you all to know that I gave you my best each and every time I hit that field to represent you. Thank you. The general manager that brought Alomar north of the border also had his day in the sun. Former GM Pat Gillick, like Alomar, gained legendary status in Toronto. After years as a scout, he worked his way up the front office ladder. Gillick saw Alomar when the second baseman was a youngster and tried to sign him as a teen. April in Toronto, playing an exhibition stadium on the shore of Lake Ontario, I can assure you it was not a walk in the park. But it was baseball. It was exciting and new and a family affair. Gillick, who starred at USC and had a productive minor league career as a pitcher, left his mark on the game as a GM. So what brings you to Cooperstown? Well, actually a couple reasons, Bobby. Um, Pat Gillick used to play at USC. I played there. He was in 58. I was a little after. It's uh, renewing old acquaintances. The final speaker Sunday was Blylevin, who waited nearly as long as his 22-year career to receive induction. He retired in 1992 following a sterling campaign that included two World Series titles, 287 career wins, and 3,701 strikeouts. His plaque describes him as a determined, durable and fun-loving Dutchman who baffled big league hitters with a cruel and knee-bending breaking ball. I'm very proud to be the first born Dutchman being inducted into the Hall of Fame. It's also a great honor to be inducted with Roberto Alomar and Pat Kelly. Blylevin pitched for five teams and at one point was a teammate of Sandy Alomar Sr., Roberto's father. He recalled watching Robbie and Sandy Jr. play baseball against the wall at Ranger Stadium with his son Todd. It was a special afternoon for the trio, who were all brought together by America's pastime, something fans from near and far would miss, as the near 18,000 in attendance could attest, including one group from the Bronx. A fundraiser organized by Latino Sports Ventures allowed local youth and adults a chance to see Alomar, one of their Latino heroes, get enshrined in the birthplace of baseball. Thought we won in the Bronx. We thought we were in Puerto Rico. We, I, <laughs> there were people speaking Spanish downtown. You know, I've never heard so many people speaking Spanish. So the Bronx, uh, one of the largest boroughs with that many Puerto Ricans and Latinos, said presente for Alomar. For me, I was proud as my Puerto Rican brothers and sisters were of America today because he also spoke for the island of Puerto Rico and to all Latin American people.